if you're an overachiever. Sir. <laughs> Found a senior head instructor. Found to head instructor and everyone at home. All right. So now is we're going to start black test training. You want to go ahead and grab. If you need to take another break, you can do that because y'all were working out. We were breaking. If you were following directions, you can go ahead and grab your staffs and come right back out. Sir. So we've been running the striking set, or the blocking set, and the striking set. So far in the striking set, we've gotten to the fifth motion, right? So that's the cat stance. Actually, the sixth motion. We did the cat stance up and down, and then we actually did the part where we try to tap our foot. Because it's also part of master's pad when we do our southern legs, we also have to do a jumping and tapping of the foot behind us. So it's actually a very similar motion. Let's start now with the blocking set. We're going to do it five times. That's a special number. Do it five times, and then we'll go ahead and start the striking set. Great. But when you do the blocking set, because it's only like seven moves long, you want to, five moves long, you want to make sure that you're doing it right. That just means do the stances correctly, right? It's a horse stance, two cat stances, and a cross stance. Shouldn't be too difficult. Crane. Oh, and a crane stance, of course. From the chest, because we're in the blocking set, you're going to go one, back up, two, always back to the chest, turn the wheel, freeze, back to horse, four, horse, and five. Take the game. Now, because you're blocking to the right, it's, it's pretty odd to stand square like this and go, ah. More than likely, if you do it really hard, you hit yourself in the face, and that's not really what we want. So when you see us turning, we're adjusting our feet so that we can turn correctly, okay? So if I'm to turn this way, it's very hard to turn to a cat dance and block without moving this foot and, and hurting my knee. So I'm going to lift the foot and turn so that my body can be fully adjusted and supported when I face this direction. So it's okay to lift the foot and move it, right? So from here... I can turn this foot and press. Come back, turn this foot and press. So that each stance is correct and then I'm not confused with which direction. Okay? So let's give it a try one more time. Now, yes, sir. That was number one. So number two. Frame. Horse. Down. Up. Turn. Back to horse. curious about which way to turn the staff, imagine this is a big bus wheel and you have to turn the bus. If you want to turn to your right, you're going to turn this way, right? So that's the same way we're going to turn to do our block, right? If you want to turn left, big bus wheel, you turn the wheel left. And the same thing is true when you do your blocks. It's counterproductive to go from here to here because essentially... I didn't quite bring it to my chest. In addition, I brought whatever was coming to my face, I let it come to my face. I brought it to my face with the end of my staff. So instead, I want to come from the center and push away from my face, not bring things to my face. All right? Two more times. Sir. I'll do it, I'll do it facing you this time. Go crane. Force. And one, two, three. Four, five. That's the hand. Cross. This one's a cross. Five. Feet together. Yes, sir. Do it one more time. Do it correctly. Crane. Force. Down. Up. Left. Center. Right. Center. 
Now, follow head instructor gauge to the first six of the striking set. Sir. chest, and now you're going to monkey hop back toward the front, like uh, um, crane stances. Sir, hop. One, two, and strike four. Boom. That's the end. Here you go. Yes, sir. So that's the end of the striking set. Let's try it again. Sir, if you're at home and you're trying this with a short stick or the broomstick or the mop, and you're thinking about, oh man, how can I get better at staff? Outside of practicing with us, you can go ahead and you put the broom head or the mop head back on the stick, and you can use that to work on your down strikes. I know you got time because you're at home. So, practice your down strikes, boom, on the floor. If you have carpet, get a broom and sweep the carpet. Pretty hard, but it does have a lot of benefit, right? You build a lot of muscles, and it kind of cleans the broom and the carpet at the same time. You might have to vacuum after, but go ahead, give it a try. One, two. Now, if you'd like to practice your up strikes, these are a little more difficult, but you might need to do this outside. But if, if you have permission, you can use the broom and get the cobwebs in the corner if you have any cobwebs on your roof, on your ceiling. Give it a try. Not right now, not in your own time, because we're about to practice the staff again. Okay. Crane. Horse. Slide. And strike. Slide. Strike down. Point up. Switch the hands. Strike. Switch the hands. Strike. Switch the hands. Tap in. Circle down. Bottom of the left foot. Turn. 
dragging. Shift up to a bow stance. Strike forward. Pull to the chest. This is for safety, to make sure you're not going to whack anything on accident as you spin. Pull it to the chest as straight up and down as possible, and you're going to move it And once you stop doing a horse, you got to strike. Boom. Both stance. Good. You said? Sir. One last time. So the striking says 10 moves long, and the blocking says 5 moves long. So you know kind of about how much you remember or forget. So when you give it a try, you number the motions and see how far you get. Hopefully you can make it to 10. So. Now what I'm going to do now is we're going to do the same moves, but I'm going to do them as though you're not here. And I want you to do yours as though you're, we're striking each other. right? So I'm going to... Usually when I turn and face you, I mirror you, which means I'll do the opposite so that you can seem like you're doing it correctly. Now I'll do it the same way you're doing it, right? Slide to the right, striking down. Because if you were here, we'd be striking staffs. So let's give it a try. Yes, sir. The crane. So if my right knee is up, your right knee should be up. So it should be this side, right? Force. Slide and strike right in front. Boom. Slide, right in front. Point up, switch the hands, up. Switch the hands, strike. Switch the hands, cat stance, circle down and up. Hit the foot, dragging, shift and strike. Staff down next to you. The path of self mastery requires a focused mind. A focused mind sees no obstacles. The path of self mastery requires a focused mind. A focused mind sees no obstacles. The path of self-mastery requires a focused mind. The focused mind sees no obstacles. Bow to senior head instructor. Bow to head instructor. Bow to everyone at home. And